Hello guys, my name is Remik and in today's video we'll cover the topic of how to properly and very easily parse the CSV file in .NET. We'll use the CSV helper library just to read and also write the CSV file. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please hit the subscribe button down below, write the comment, give me a like and as always, now we're going straight into the topic. As you see on the screen, I have prepared some kind of the mock-up CSV file that we would like to load into our program. We have a couple of the columns and also the values for those columns. Here, the one big difference is that this is the kind of the object, not only the normal kind of type that you, as you see, we have the revenue, also the creator, so it will be string, it will be the decimal, and the acceptance object will create some kind of the object that will be transferred from this JSON type to this kind of object. So we have to take all of this data and then load and process accordingly. All right, at first we have to install one nugget package that is called CSV helper. So I'll just open the manage nugget packages and I'll just type CSV, CSV helper, this one. Now we'll create an object that will represent the state of our CSV file. So we need the ID, report details, creator revenue, and also this acceptance object. So I'll just create one class that will be called report.cs. And I'll just have an ID, details created by revenue in, in US dollars, and also the acceptance. So as you see, the names are slightly different, but we'll create some kind of the map that will uh, just map the name that, as you remember, the ID was uh, in the uppercase. So we'll just uh, give the instruction that this ID in the uppercase will be the same as this ID with only the first uppercase letter. So it doesn't matter. We don't need to have the same uh, names in the CSV file and also in our report object. It just doesn't matter. We just need to create some kind of the map instruction for our mechanism to properly map those columns. And we'll create also the acceptance object. So I'll just create one class called acceptance.cs and it was accepted by and also the acceptance node. Now we'll create that map that I was referring to. So we have to give the instruction to map this kind of ID to our integer ID that we have in our report class. And also for the rest of the columns, we'll do the same. So based on this file, I will just create one class called report read map dot cs. And we have to inherit from the class map from the CSV helper. And we have to give the type of the report. The report. And now we'll just create the constructor. And we have to type map. And I'll just type report.id will have the name of this ID in the uppercase. Next map will be for the report details. So it will be r.details and the name was, as you remember, report, report details. So I'll just make sure. Yes, it was the report details and it will be converted to our details. Next map was for the revenue, so it will be revenue in USD and the name was only the revenue. Revenue, the same will be for the creator. So it was the creator and we have the created by in our report object. So will be the creator. And the last one 
will be a little bit more complicated. So we have to map this acceptance object. So we have to create also the one converter that will serialize and deserialize based on the scenario if we are writing or reading. So we'll just for now type that acceptance with the name acceptance object acceptance object and then type converter will be the the converter of the of the type acceptance and we have to create this converter so it will be not this one but our custom converter our custom converter all right and our converter will be the generic type and we have to inherit from the default type converter from the csv helper and now we have to override two methods the convert from string and also convert to string so we'll use the json serializer to deserialize or serialize our objects so i will just type public override convert from string and also public override convert to string and in the convert from string we'll just return json serializer dot deserialize with the type of t of course and we have to pass the the text and And in here, we'll also do something that will be the opposite. So we'll have to serialize the object with the usage of the JSON serializer. So we'll just type return JSON serializer dot serialize. And we have to pass this value. And now when we we'll go to our report read map, we see that this is the the converter that we have created and it's taking the acceptance object all right and now we have to create some kind of a reader that will load the csv file into the memory it will take the report read map and then it will extract the records out of our csv file so i'll just create one class that will be called csv reader.cs and this class will be static, so I'll just mark this as a static class, and then I'll just type public static void read csv file method, and we can start with defining the configuration. So the configuration will be the new csv configuration from the csv helper, and we'll just pass the culture info will be invariant and inside of it we'll just assign the new line will be the based on the operating system that we are using the environment dot new line and the delimiter that we have in our csv file will be will be comma as it is in here as you see we have the comma separated file if it will be, for instance, the semicolon separated file, of course, it will be the different uh, delimiter in our CSV configuration class. So, of course, it will be the semicolon here. Then we have to create the stream reader and give the path to our CSV file. So I'll just type using var reader new stream new stream reader and the path will be the path of the csv file we have to give the path for our csv file and then we'll just type using var csv it will be equal to new csv helper dot csv csv reader and we have to pass that stream reader that we have created over here and then our configuration so the conf that we have created and now we have to define this map that we have created so the map for all of those columns so 
in the CSV dot dot context, we have to give the re uh, report read map. So register class map of the type report report read map. And the last thing to do is just to extract the records out of that. So, so the records will be equal to the CSV dot get records and the records of type report. And now I'll just create the for each loop that for each record in those records will just console dot write line the uh, results that we have obtained from our execution of that extraction. We just have the for each, we have the record in the records and in this console write line we'll just write down the record ID of the name of so the ID will be equal to the value of that ID. So after the execution of that method we'll have the output the following output will be in the console. And now once we have everything set up correctly, we'll just go to the program CS, we'll just get read of this hello world and we'll use our CSV reader dot read CSV file method and we'll just execute the program. And as you see, we have the ID of one details. This is my report created by created number one revenue in the US dollars. Also this value that we have in our CSV file and the accepted by and acceptance note. So the whole acceptance object was converted into our acceptance object with the accepted by Mark John and acceptance note great report. So our CSV file has been parsed properly. And now we can take a look also on the writing to the CSV file. We can use the existing report read map that we have created and it will just take the existing uh, report that we have and it will write this to the structure that we have defined over here. So it will be the ID, report details, revenue creator and the acceptance object based on the structure that we have here. So based on this uh, report.cs file. So I will just create one class that will be called CSV writer dot CS and it will be also the static class the same as the CSV reader and I'll just create public static void write to CSV and inside of it I'll just create some kind of the mockup so one list of those reports that will have couple of those and also with the acceptance object included into it and the same as we had in our CSV reader we have to take this kind of the configuration and in the writer we just have the same one and now instead of the stream reader we'll use the stream writer so using var stream writer is equal to new stream writer and of course we have to give the path for that file i'll just take the same that we had here but we'll just only rename the file just not to be the same as the csv file.csv but we'll just use the csv file from from writer csv file from writer.csv and we'll just use the using of our csv to be equal to the new csv helper dot csv not reader but writer and the same stream writer and also the the configuration and in here we'll just use one method from that csv writer and it will be called write records so csv dot write 
three chords and we have to give those records that we have created here. So it will be called reports. So all of those report.cs that we have created. All right. And it should create for us the one CSV file. So I'll just go to the program.cs and I'll just use CSV writer dot write to csv i'll just comment out the first one All right now we'll execute our program and we'll see what will be the output of that method as you see the csv file from writer has been created but we haven't registered the class map for that and as you see the name is the same as we have defined in that report cs file so we have to go back into the CSV writer and we have to assign CSV dot dot context dot register class map and this class map was called report read map. I'll just remove that file and we will just execute once again. And as you see, we have the ID, report details, revenue, creator acceptance object, and everything looks completely the same as we had in that CSV file. So our reader and also CSV writer works fine in that scenario.